If it were any longer, it'd be two stars at best. But at least that's one of the things that's good about Ringo albums. They're gratefully short. Beyond that, this is one of Ringo's patchier efforts, right up there with Ringo 2012. His choice of collaborators are always the deciding factor in whether or not his records are going to be of higher quality. Maka returns once again, playing bass on the cover of John Lennon's Grow Old With Me. It's a nice tribute from the Beatles' rhythm section, but the Lennon recording remains definitive. Joe Walsh takes guest vocals on the opening Gotta Get Up to Get Down, which he uses as a way to deliver us Son of Space Age whiz kids. It's hot takes on social media are relatable, but can't help but feel like the complaints of an old man shaking his fist at the kids these days. Man at Work Colin Hay pens the title track, which is hilarious considering how it's so evidently a way of baiting the audience to chant Ringo's name at his concerts. And Toto's Steve Lukather helps pen the Good Day Sunshine knockoff magic. Elsewhere, there's Thank God for Music, a clumsy attempt at writing a Brian Wilson song. There's Life is Good, which, yes, is inspired by the clothing brand. And a dreadfully auto-tuned cover of Money, which lacks either the soul of the Barrett Strong original or even the excitement and spirit of the Beatles recording from With the Beatles. That's the thing about this album. There are just as many moments which work as there are moments that don't. But then, that's always been the point of Ringo albums. He's never set out to make his records grand artistic statements the way Lennon, McCartney, and Harrison did. He uses them as excuses to hang out and jam with his famous musician friends. They are snapshots of get-togethers and parties held at his home in L.A. If someone swings by, they make it on the record because that's what they do for fun. So, in a sense, I can't really judge this record off of its artistic merits because it doesn't really seek to have any artistic merits. Instead, I have to judge this by how much I enjoyed hearing it. And in that scenario, it's decent enough. You know, I, I can't say you should give it more than a Spotify spin or even that you shouldn't just cherry-pick the best moments and forego having to buy the actual record. But if you're either a Beatles or a Ringo fan you likely won't be too disappointed by what you hear. Just don't expect to hear very much.